Does anybody else think God was in a bad relationship when he wrote the Ten Commandments? Because some of them seem a little desperate. You shall have no other gods before me. Never use my I believe in God and it doesn't stop there. I believe in UFOs, Bigfoot, ESP, reincarnation, out of body experiences, voting for Ralph Nader. <laughs> Basically anything covered in a Mysteries of the Unknown Time Life book. I believe in all that stuff. I believe in, uh, I believe the stock market's fixed, US foreign policy is dictated by a powerful few, and Girl Scout Thin Mint cookies are vastly overrated. <laughs> Little runner. I told you I'm a little nuts. I'm a little nuts. But it, is it, doesn't everybody believe in something crazy? Because, I mean, what's, what's crazier, thinking that the United States is concealing anti-gravity technology or really believing that Astoria is only 15 minutes from Midtown? <laughs> well, what, what, what's crazier, believing in a virgin birth or paying for Wi-Fi? <laughs> your, neighbors, your neighbors already have it. Okay, <laughs> Because Republicans, they're like, they, they do everything wrong. They just do everything wrong. They're like the inspector gadget of political parties. Always thinking they're about to find those weapons of mass destruction, always finding Dr. Claw's fake arms. And Democrats, the Democrats are like me at a temp job. When they got the job, they said they would answer the phone. The job is to answer the phone. But when the phone rings, to the phone. <laughs> How did the Republican guy answer the phone? I'm afraid, I'm afraid someone's gonna make fun of me if I answer the phone wrong. How about I answer the phone in my second term? The, the job of a temp is basically to, uh, to sit at a desk. That's it. And occasionally, and very rarely, you get asked to do things which you're incapable of doing. Jeremiah, I need color copies. Uh, the, uh, there's no color copier in the office. Jeremiah, I need color copies. Okay, well, uh, whip out the crayons. Let's do this. <laughs> Jeremiah, I'm doing a presentation tomorrow. I need you to put together a PowerPoint. Okay, hey, there's no problem. Um, got any text, uh, charts, graphs, any images? Any Jeremiah. I don't have the time for that. Just use your judgment. Okay, okay, but if you want me to use my best judgment, you're going to get a 42-slide presentation with a very compelling argument to legalize pot and naked pictures of Morgan Fairchild. That's what you're going to get. Want to impress your boss with a new degree? Why not buy one right now? How does this work? You just show up one day, hey, Boss, I got a PhD in comparative literature. You will now treat me as such. My office hours are Tuesday, Thursdays, three to four, and by appointments. Oh, that's great, that's great. Congratulations, I had no idea how long it take you to get this degree. Three weeks. Could have gotten it in two days if I ordered express mail. But you know me, I want to enjoy grad schools. <laughs> You dingers, I don't know if you remember this guy. He's the candidate who wanted to make the moon the 51st state by 2020. That dude really hates Puerto Rico. Uh, is a scrotum supposed to last a lifetime? It's like made out of like a potato chip bag. Who designed the scrotum? That should be an election. That should be an issue in a presidential election. Better scrotums. Jesus. What are we supposed to do with those? Women were complaining about their vaginas aging. Take a good look at a scrotum. I'll be surprised if mine lasts the night. And a lot of people said, they, they go, Jeremiah, why did you move to Los Angeles from New York City? New York City's great. And I tell them, I moved to Los Angeles so I could have a stove. I don't know if you've seen any New York City apartments, but the appliances 
My stove in my Central Park West apartment was a cardboard box with a fart trapped inside. 